Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Skyrim Princess. I'm so glad you could join me. Alright, in the last episode, if you remember, we were trying to get to Iverstead. And we had a lot of trouble getting there. It was like a whole hour to get there before we finally before we finally got to Iverstead. So today we are gonna try to go to the Greybeards and see what is going on and what Angier can give us advice on how to defeat Alduin, hopefully. Let's go. Or maybe just to like prevent him from doing more harm. Hello. You don't look like a pilgrim. No. I bother visiting. We don't get many visitors through here. Unless they're headed up to High Hrothgar, of course. What have you got for sale? Take a look. Making sure I stock up on food. Apple pie. What? I'll take all the apple pie that I need. <laughs> I did not mean to buy me, but oh well. Carrots. Honey nut treat. Grilled leeks and chicken. Thank you, sir. If you're headed up to the monastery, watch your step. It's a long way down. Oh, I will, because I don't want to run into another troll. What is this? An <laughs> Well, that was terrible. An hour to get to Iverstead. It's like they didn't want me to go. But I, we made it. We made it. Don't underestimate the Skyrim Princess. <laughs> Alright. We, before we leave, we are going to find a better way to get to Iverstead. <laughs> Hello. The gods gave you two hands, and you used them both for your weapon. I can respect that. Thank you. Oh, good day, sir. Hello, my friend. Hello. What can I do for you on such a fine day? I was just saying hello. Have yourself a great day. You too. Yeah. Well, I was in the afternoon. Right. What, what was I wearing? Oh, we're still wearing the warmer clothes. Okay. Here we go. I hope to find a better way. If you know of a way to get to Iverstead, let me know in the comments. I'd be happy to find out. No. Oh. <laughs> Again. Boost the rock. Can't mess with me today, wolf. I think we're good for right now. Then the traveler. Hello. Need something? I was just saying hello. Mm-hmm. Oh. Fine. I probably should have sold some of this stuff before I started coming up here. Oh well. I was just eager to get to the Greybeards after all this time. Oh. 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 
how to get out of here. Oh, Lydia just running into me. You ate the poor cow. Oh, I don't want that. There's a live goat. I want to take a potion. Or food. Should have bought some potion. Some medicine. Good to see that you're alive, little goat. Now, I have to be careful of the troll. Apparently it wanted to follow me. Or I wasn't fast enough. <laughs> here somewhere. I think it's here. Need today up here, don't you think? We have made it. Finally, after all this, all this time. in out of the cold. Because <clears throat> it was cold outside. <laughs> Huh? 
Where are they? They're all always sitting down. They're all sitting down. We're having like a little lunch. That's nice. Ah, you've retrieved the horn of Jorgen Wimkow. Yes. Well done. Thank you, sir. You have now passed all the trials. Come with me. It is time for us to recognize you formally as Dragonborn. I would appreciate that. <laughs> Just pushing Lydia to the side is fine. You coming? <laughs> She was offended. I'm sorry, Lily. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you are ready to learn the final word of unrelenting force. Ooh. Da. Which means push. Oh. Put Where all is three it? words together, this Ooh. shout is much more powerful. So is it this Use way? Wisely. Or the other way. Master Wolfgar will oh, not give this, way. this knowledge of dark. Completed your training, Dragonborn. You. We would speak to you. Stand between us and prepare yourself. Few uh -huh. can withstand the unbridled voice of the Greybeards, but you are ready. <gasps> I don't know. <laughs> Stand in the center of the room. Oh, I'm supposed to stand in the center. <laughs> ah! Oh, you're going to become Dragonborn. Oh, no. Are you speaking to me in Dragon? I don't really know what you're saying. I guess I don't know. Oh, no. I am not in the I'm not in the center. Dovakin, you have tasted the voice of the Greybeards and passed through unscathed. Oh. I, Hrothgar, is open to you. Oh, thank you. Your training proceeds well, Dragonborn. I need to learn the shout used to defeat Alduin. Where did you learn of that? <laughs> Who have you been talking oh. to? Oh, I thought you knew. Does it matter? Yes. <laughs> For matters of such gravity, we need to know where you stand. Or who you stand with. I have nothing to hide. The blades helped me find out about it. The blades? Of yeah. Of course. They specialize in meddling in matters they barely understand. Their reckless arrogance knows no bounds. They have always sought to turn the dragonborn from the path of wisdom. Have you learned nothing from us? Ah. Would you simply be a tool in the hands of the blades to be used for their own purposes? No. <laughs> the, the blades are helping me. I'm not their puppet. No, no, of course not. Forgive me, Dragonborn. I have been intemperate with you. But heed my warning. The blades may say they serve the Dragonborn, but they do not. They never have. So, can you teach me the shout? No. Ah. I cannot teach it to you, because I do not know it. It is called Dragonrend. 
but its words of power are unknown to us. We do not regret this loss. Dragonrand holds no place within the way of the voice. If the shout is lost, how can I defeat Alduin? Only Parthenax, the master of our order, can answer that question, if he so chooses. Who is Parthenax? He is our leader. He surpasses us all in his mastery of the way of the voice. Why haven't I met Parthenax yet? He lives in seclusion on the very peak of the mountain. Oh. He speaks to us only rarely and never to outsiders. Being allowed to see him is a great privilege. How do I get to the top of the mountain to see him? Only those whose voice is strong can find the path. We will teach you a shout to open the way to Parthenax. Oh, thank you. Oh, Rails left. And Lydia may have become partial dragonborn. I'm not sure. I guess we're going to the High Hothgar, Hrothgar, Hoth, Hothgar Courtyard. I'm level 8. Let me just stand and then go. And stand and just wait. And go. Oh, he's turning. And here we begin. The path to Parthenax lies through this gate. Mm -hmm. I will show you how to open the way. Where... Where are you going? Look. Ah. Oh, this, this. Oh, okay. Grant you my understanding of clear skies. This is your final gift from us, Dragonborn. Use it well. Thank you. I appreciate it. Clear skies will blow away the mist, but only for a time. The path to Parthenax is perilous not to be embarked upon lightly. I won't. Keep moving, stay focused on your goal, and you will reach the summit. Thank you, sir. Use clear skies to open the way oh. to Parthenax. All right, here we go. On a mission to help learn about how to defeat Alduin. Look! A cool! Oh. Stronger than I thought? I know who parked in that. Uh. Uh. Look! A cool! 
Oh, hello! You can live up here, little goat. Thank you for showing me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Why did you die? No. Why did you die in the mist? Oh, I should eat some food. Oh, all that food I just bought. I should probably save it. That poor little ram just walked into it. I hate fighting those things. I'm sorry. Items can be stored safely in any container on, in your own home, but items kept in another container, other containers may not be there later when you go to retrieve them. Oh, there's a key. At least I saved it. No! Get it! Get it, buddy! Get it! Get it! Aha! So, where did that go? I thought there was a little pile. Now I lost the teeth! Thank you, Lydia. Let's save that. There it is again. No. Ah! Run, let's just run. Let's just run. Let's let's skip that thing. I don't even know if I'm going in the right place. Uh. Come on. <sighs> I'm good. I'm still alive. Don't run into the mist. Ah, oh, not again. Oh, it's biting me. Yeah. I'll just get some fresh air. I'll be honest, the first time I came up here, 
I didn't know Park was a dragon. I thought I had to defeat him. But now you get to talk with him. Hello. Drem Yolok. Greetings, Wundunik. I am Parthenax. It's nice to meet you, sir. Who are you? What brings you to my Strunmach, my mountain? I wasn't expecting you to be a dragon. Okay. I am as my father Akatosh made me, as are you, Dovakin. Dova. <laughs> Tell me, why do you come here, Volan? Why do you intrude on my meditation? I need to learn the dragon wren shout. Can you teach me? Hmm. Drem. Patience. There are formalities which must be observed at the first meeting of two of the dove. By long tradition, the elder speaks first. Hear my thum. Feel it in your bones. Match it if you are Dovahkiin. Why do you oh. intrude here if not for Tinvak? Tinvak? Learn the word of power from Parthenix. Not until introductions are complete. I have spoken. The Rotmulag waits. Oh, I'm supposed to learn a word. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Not until intro now. Show me what you can do. Greet me not as mortal, but as Dova. On you? Are you sure, sir? Not until introductions are complete. Okay. Do not be afraid. Fasnu, let me feel the power of your thumb. Okay. Did he say fire breath? This one, I think, is like my favorite one. <laughs> okay, if you insist. Yo! Yes, Sosedo Vlostmul, the dragon blood runs strong in you. Oh, well, thank you. It is long since I had the pleasure of speech with one of my own kind. Yes. So, you have made your way here to me. No easy task for a jaw, mortal. Even for one of Dova Sauce, dragon blood. You know how hard it was to get what to What would you stage? ask of me? Can you teach me the dragon wrench out? Ah, I have expected you, Proda. Oh, good. You would not come all this way for Tinvak with an old Dova. No, you seek your weapon against Alduin. Yes. How did you know I came for Dragonrun? Alduin Comate Teed. What else would you seek? Alduin and Dovakin return together. But I do not know the Thum you seek. Croesus, it cannot be known to me. Your kind, Jor, mortals, created it as a weapon against the Dove, the dragons. Our Hadrime, our minds cannot even comprehend its concepts. How can I learn it then? 
Drem, all in good time. First, a question for you. Why do you want to learn this, Thum? I need to stop Alduin. Yes, Alduin, Zembach, the elder brother, gifted, grasping, and troublesome, is as Alduin? is so often the case with firstborn. Hey, hey. But why? Why must you stop Alduin? You must show I'm a firstborn. The prophecy says that's the only... that only the Dragonborn can stop him? Mm, true, but Kostid, prophecy, tells what may be, not what should be. Kostid Salo Ak, just because you can do a thing does not always mean you should. That's true. Do you have no better reason for acting than destiny? Are you nothing but a plaything of Dez, of fate? What better reason to act than to fulfill my destiny? If you can see your destiny clearly, your sight is clearer than mine. Dahman, remember, Alduin also follows his destiny as he sees it. But I bow before your certainty. In a way, I envy you. The curse of much knowledge is often indecision. But you have indulged my weakness for speech long enough. Croesus. Now, I will answer your question. Thank you. Mm. Do you know why I live here, at the peak of the Monaven, what you name Throat of the World? Oh. I never thought about it. This is the most sacred mountain in Skyrim, Sokravak Struma, the great mountain of the world. Here, the ancient tongues, the first mortal masters of the voice, brought Alduin to battle and defeated him. Using the Dragon Ren shout, right? Hmm. Yes and no, Viknuznikaron. Alduin was not truly defeated either. If he was, you would not be here today seeking to defeat him. The Nords of those days used the Dragonrend shout to cripple Alduin, but this was not enough. Oak Mulag Unslad. It was the Kel, the Elder Scroll. They used it to cast him adrift on the currents of time. An Elder Scroll? What's that? Hmm. How to explain in your tongue? The Dove have words for such things that Jaw do not. It is an artifact from outside time. It does not exist, but it has always existed. Rahwatlan, they are mm, fragments of creation. The Kelle, Elder Scrolls as you name them, they have often been used for prophecy. Yes, your prophecy comes from an Elder Scroll. But this is only a small part of their power. Zofa Suyek. 
Are you saying the ancient Nords sent Alduin forward in time? Not intentionally. Some hoped he would be gone forever, forever lost. Maye. I knew better. Uh -huh. Teet bo amativ. Time flows ever onward. One day he would surface. Which is why I have lived here. For thousands of mortal years, I have waited. I knew where he would emerge, but not when. How does any of this help you? I mean, it's very interesting now. Tid Krent. Time was shattered here because of what the ancient Nords did to Alduin. If you brought that Kel, that Elder Scroll, back here to the Teed Ahran, the Time Wound, with the Elder Scroll that was used to break time, you may be able to... Cast yourself back to the other end of the break. Ooh. You could learn Dragonrend from those who created it. Oh. Do you know where I can find the Elder Scroll? Krosis, no. I know little of what has passed below in the long years I have lived here. You are likely better informed than I. Hmm, Esbern or Andrea might have some idea. Trust your instincts, Dovakin. Your blood will show you the way. What do I do with the Elder Scroll when I find it? Return it here to the Teed Ahran. Then. Kele Vomindok. Nothing is certain with such things. But I believe the scroll's bond with the Teed Ahran will allow you a... a seeing, a vision of the moment of its creation. Then you will feel no dragon rend in the power of its first expression. You will see them, Ruth Fadon, my friends, Haken, Gormleith, Feldir. Hakan, Gor, Gormleith, Feldir? Who are they? The first mortals that I taught the Thum, the Ooh. first tongues, the leaders of the rebellion against Alduin. They were mighty in their day, even to attempt to defeat Alduin. Sahrothun. The Nords have had many heroes since, but none greater. How could an Elder Scroll cast Alduin through time? Vormendark, I do not know. Perhaps in the very doing, they erased the knowing of it from time itself. The Dove are children of Akatosh. Thus, we are specially attuned to the flow of time. Perhaps also uniquely vulnerable. I warned them against such a rash action. Even I could not foresee its consequences. Nust Lihon, they would not listen. I know. <laughs> who, who mean... You mean you were there? Yes. There were a few of us that rebelled against Alduin Stur, his tyranny. We aided the humans in his overthrow. But they did not trust us, ni of. Their inner counsels were kept hidden from us. 
I was far from here on the day of Alduin's downfall, but all Dove felt the sundering of time itself. What does the Dragon Ren shout actually do? I cannot tell you in detail. I never heard it used. Kogan. It was the first Thum created solely by mortals. It was said to force a dragon to experience the concept of mortality. A truly von Mindoran. Incomprehensible idea to the immortal Dove. You're the master of the Greybeards. Do others come here to train? Mm. I have taught the way of the voice for centuries, and the Thum since long before that. But no, Dovahkiin. Others do not come here to train anymore. Saran, you are the first in over a hundred years. I feel so special. I meditate on the Rotmulag, the words of power. I counsel in their use. It is enough for me. Meditate on the words? How? Knowing a word of power is to take its meaning into yourself. Contemplate the meaning of a Rotmulag. You will become closer to that word as it fills your inner self. Oh. Will I teach you, Dovakin? What word calls you to deeper understanding? There are three to master. Fus, Fain, <laughs> and Yol. Let's do Fus. It is called force in your tongue. Force. But as you push the world, so does the world push back. Oh. Think of the way force may be applied effortlessly. Imagine but a whisper pushing aside all in its path. That is Fus. Let its meaning fill you. Sum Ark Mora, you will push the world harder than it pushes back. Oh, Fus. I wish to meditate on a word of power. Which calls to you, Dovakin? Fus, Faim, or Yol? So now that we have learned Fus, let's do Faim. Fade in your tongue. Fade. Mortals have greater affinity for this word than the Dove. Everything mortal fades away in time, but the spirit remains. Ponder the meaning of spirit, Unslad Zee. Where mortal flesh may wither and die, the spirit endures. That is fine. Let that meaning fill you. Sum Ark Mora. You will find that your spirit will give you more strength. Faim. Fade. So Fus. Force. Faim. Fade. Which calls to you, Dovakin? Fus. Faim. Or Yol? Since we have done Fus, Vat, and Faim. Let's do Yol. In your tongue, the word simply means fire. It is change given form, power at its most primal. That is the true meaning of Yol. Solyek, power, you have it, as do all Dove. But power is inert without action and choice. Think of this as the fire builds in your sum, in your breath. Sum Ark Mora. What will you burn? What will you spare? So, Fus, Force, Fime, Fade, Yo. Fine. 
fire. Yo, I think it was fire. Now, before, I guess that's all I can talk to Carson X about. So before, I wanted to say this. Before I uh, finished talking to Person X, my brother-in-law told me that the person who plays Person X's voice is Mario. And I just think that's awesome. It makes Skyrim so much better. Okay, so when you hear him again, just think of Mario a little bit. But also think of Person X. Okay, let's continue. Dremulok, greetings. Yes. Thank you so much. Sum Ark Mora. Where'd he go? There he goes! Oh. Oh, I thought we were done. Thank you for helping me, sir. Thank you. Oh, that's it. Oh. Speak. I will listen. Thank you so much. I'm gonna go try to find that Elder Scroll. Alright. I just think it's cool. Okay. Well, goodbye. I'll come back and hopefully I won't get lost. Alright, so now we have talked to Parthenax. We're not gonna kill Parthenax, even though the Blades want us to. I don't trust the Blades. I mean, the Esbern, he's nice, but Delphine is pushy. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just had to say it. Okay. Parthenax is really nice, so I mean... Why, why would we want to kill person next? Doesn't make any sense. Oh wait, well, he, he is a dragon, but he's a nice dragon. I'm lost! So, we went this way. Oh, and we're back. Thank you, Parthenax. Alright, let's go. So we go this way. I don't really remember because I was running. Oh, there. And we go this way. At least there's a ram. So maybe we'll talk to Angier. Oh. Yeah. Ah. I can't. I have to wait. Uh. What's this friend? Look at those things. Don't get near it, little ram. Okay, well, that works. Oh, poor little ram. Beautiful. 
34 a.m. in Skyrim. You know what? I've never heard of it. What is that? Oh, there is nothing over here. I thought there was something over here. We were there for a long time. I think since it's early in the morning in Skyrim, we're just gonna stay here for the for and we're gonna end the episode here, so when we get inside, of course. Let's see if we can I think everybody's asleep, so let's go to their Where is their little banquet room? Is it? No. I can't get through that. That's a pot right there. Ooh, nothing was over here. Oh, there's someone. Hello. So, you spoke to Parthenax. Yes. The dragon blood burns bright within you. Oh. Did he tell you what you wanted to know? Oh, yes. Did he teach you the dragon rend shout? No, but he told me how to find out. Well, so be it. If he believes it is necessary for you to learn this, we will bow to his wisdom. I need the Elder Scroll the ancients used. Do you know where to find it? We have never concerned ourselves with the scrolls. The gods themselves would rightly mm. fear to tamper with such things. One As guy. for where to find it, such blasphemies have always been the stock and trade of the mages of Winterhold. Winterhold? They may we be were able just to tell at you Winterhold. About the Elder Scroll you seek. We were just at Winterhold. Is there another way to defeat Adwin? Perhaps not. But this shout was used once before, was it not? And here we are again. Have you considered that Alduin was not meant to be defeated? Those who overthrew him in ancient times only postponed the day of reckoning. They did not stop it. If the world is meant to end, so be it. Let it end and be reborn. Any idea where to find the Elder Scroll? Such blasphemies are the calling of mages, not followers of the way. Take your question to the College of Winterhold. That's where we just were. They may were. be able to oh, help well. you. Uh, what's so bad about the Dragon Ren shout? It was created by those who had lived under the unimaginable cruelty of Alduin's dragon cult. Their whole lives were consumed with hatred for dragons, and they poured all their anger and hatred into this shout. When you learn a shout, you take it into your very being. In a sense, you become the shout. In order to learn and use this shout, you will be taking this evil into yourself. Not necessarily. It's not really evil. I'd like to learn more about the voice. You have learned so much already, Dragonborn. Growing your gift too quickly would be dangerous. Really? But there are many words of power in Skyrim carved in the dragon tongue. Even from here, we can feel the thum resonate from them. Finding these lost words would be a sufficient test to temper your abilities with experience. Ask when you are ready to Oh, search. okay. Have you located any words of power? We have felt the whisper of a word. Give me your map and I will show you where its echo can be found. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it.
I think I already asked who is your gremlin caller. Can we spend the night here? Breath and focus. Thank you. I think. I think he said rest and focus. I know there is a little meeting area somewhere. Not exactly sure where. Well, there's this little place. There's only one chair. <laughs> well, there's another chair. Oh, this is a hotel. I know there's another place though, but if I can't find it, I'll just come back here. No. There's a stone chair. Here it is. So we'll just spend the night in here. Well, this has been a good episode. This has been a good episode. At least we got to Parthenax and to the Greybeards this time and not a lost in an hour for getting to Ivangar. I really hope that you enjoyed this episode. Thank you so much for watching. And please like and subscribe and comment and tell me what you think and if there's anything else that I should know about this quest. And thank you so much. May God bless you and keep smiling.